Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Mr. Mayor, Dan, Kevin, for uh, allowing us to join you today. Uh, I am co-founder and director, uh, along with Lenore Blom, of the Carnegie Mellon Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And uh, uh, we uh, really take seriously our role in regional economic development, and we're really happy to participate today uh, because in 2007, Lenore founded Project Olympus, which was the first incubator uh, uh, here in town and sort of set off the trend of creating things like Alpha Lab and Rev Oakland. And so we're excited to, to be part of that. Um, we do take our role in regional economic development seriously. Uh, recent startups from Carnegie Mellon have created over a thousand jobs here in, in the city. Uh, some of them you may know. This is uh, Four Moms. Uh, this was in the Wall Street Journal, Rob Daly and Henry Thorne. Henry has two degrees from Carnegie Mellon. Rob is an adjunct professor. They've been featured in national media the last three years. They were on Ellen DeGeneres' Mother's Day show. Uh, Duolingo uh, here in Pittsburgh. It was the app of the year in 2013 on the, in the App Store. Uh, Aquion Energy has based here in Lawrenceville. They've taken over the Sony plant, old VW plant down in New Stanton and, and they're building their batteries there. Uh, Blue Belt Technologies recently got their US FDA approval. They had been selling in Europe and now they're actively selling robotic surgical tools here. Uh, ModCloth, interesting story, started here. Uh, Two Carnegie Mellon grads, Eric and Susan Kroger, uh, started in the strip district, got funding from San Francisco, took the headquarters out there, but they maintained operations and technical development here and employ hundreds of people in the region, right? Um, who's the next one, right? Well, one great candidate might be Soul Power. Uh, Soul Power started off as a Project Olympus probe. Uh, they went through Alpha Lab, Alpha Lab gear. Uh, they're here in the region. They won the Rise of the, the Rest uh, competition this summer, and they got the Invention of the Year in 2014. Now, everybody knows this story, right? The Kauffman Foundation actually pick Pittsburgh and all of the members of the ecosystem here to say, hey, if you're not San Francisco and you're not New York City, what do you do? And, and, and so if you haven't seen this website from the Coffin Foundation, you should go check it out and you'll see the really cool things going on. Now, we're an international university, the fifth most international in the world, but among the top 50, the most international. So we attract the best and the brightest from around the world. So we want to reach out into the ecosystem of Carnegie Mellon and bring some of that back to bear here in Pittsburgh. For example, in January, Nest Labs sold to Google for $3.2 billion. Well, it turns out that one of the co-founders, Matt Rogers, has two degrees from Carnegie Mellon. Now, we got lucky. The week after he sent the announcement of that sale, he came back to Carnegie Mellon to inspire our student and faculty, and we had nearly 500 people in the room as he told the Nest Lab story. Um, this is a company called Anki, three PhD roboticists from Carnegie Mellon. Um, they took their company out to, to California, but they've really stayed in touch with us. A year ago, they launched on stage with Tim Cook from Apple during his keynote speech at the, the developers conference. Um, he's come back, uh, Boris, one of the founders, he was the keynote speaker at our show and tell uh, for Project Olympus this last uh, spring and continues to come back and work with our students and inspire them. Um, life sciences, we have a lot going on there. Uh, this is Jonathan Rothberg, who has created some of the most valuable genetics companies in the world. Uh, John Kaplan, who created the flip video cameras before the cell phone cameras got so good, sold it to Cisco, made a bunch of money. He gave us a nice gift, and along with the McCune Foundation, we've been able to create uh, the Open Field Entrepreneurs Fund, and in the last three years, we've made 38 investments. 25 of them have stayed here in Pittsburgh. So how are we doing all of this? Uh, we brought Project Olympus and the Don Jones Center together two, two years ago to form the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. We partner closely with the Center for Technology Transfer and Enterprise Creation, Reed McManagles here today representing them, to create a sort of one-stop shop at Carnegie Mellon. We have three goals. One is to make CMU the premier entrepreneurial university in the world. The second is to create more valuable companies out of the great research and uh, ideas that come from our students and again, plug into that alumni network so that all of our alumni can be customers or suppliers or mentors or investors in each other's companies. We do that by <laughs> embracing everybody at the university. 
uh, our board is all of the deans from all of the colleges. We have faculty liaisons in each of the schools, and we partner with the great research institutions like Lynn Brusco's here today from the Disruptive Health Technology uh, uh, Center. And what we do is they create the innovation through the research, and we help commercialize it uh, into companies. Um, the last slide I have here is a recent development, and uh, Lenore Blum is the, uh, the principal investigator at an NSF i site. This is a program that's gaining national notoriety. It actually was started uh, by President Suresh when he was the director at NSF. And even in the title, you see that we are about diversity and regional economic development. So again, we take our role seriously, and we really appreciate the opportunity to, to chat with you today about it.